Hi guys, there is something I would like to share with you. So if we we're promoting Arconets for the bulk of our people and Arconets has all the possibilities you want to have. You can just go for an XFCE or you can just install 30 ish desktops. But I'm responding to the people who are going to say later on, Eric, I've installed it, I see SDM and I can't log in. I'm gonna show you that I can do that too. Install Arconet and still not able to be able to log in, right? In the past, before Arconet, Arco Pro and Arco Plasma and all the rest as well, Arco, XL, XS and all the Bs, that could happen too. Main difference was, then we said, maybe something changed in your config of, YB, your config of BSP WM. And then if you can't log in, so this is now immediately auto login into SDM, immediately into XFCE. And if you do an advanced installation, it is necessary, and I forget that too, it is necessary to choose a desktop. This will be installed, so everything works, everything boots up, you have SDM. You see something graphical, then you type your password. And what we used to say, let me just go through the motions and just install the first one that comes to mind here. All right, so if you forget to select something, in this phase, before, just before this phase, XFC4 and XFC4 goodies have been removed. So, if you forget to do something here, and you forget to do something here, you do not have a desktop. So you greet it with SDM, and behind SDM is nothing, right? So let's do that exercise, let's not select something. Then you see what maybe what I mean, and probably that's what's happening on so many users, as I forget it's from time to, right? It's just, it's okay. It's a new way of thinking and we need to still to get accustomed to the way new way of, of doing things, right? So Arconet advanced, Tablo Rasa, if you know a little bit of Latin, right? Everything gone, except C4, except C goodies. The thing you see, what you see is what you get, forget it. We're in advanced and advanced we say we clean up pseudo pacman minus r remove xfc4 remove xf4 goodies not the rest right browsers they all stay but the desktop is gone and i have not selected the desktop so let's see what goes on now what we said before right it's many things can happen and it's always updates and always new packages new kernels and all that right new python version and the package is not built against the new Python version, etc., etc. But generally speaking, if you have SDM and you do have a desktop behind it, how do you know that? XD. This is XFC desktop. That's the X11. XDW is Wayland. No Wayland installed, just X11. Okay? Easy way to know. Oh, I forgot to install a desktop. You reinstall, that's probably the most easy way to go ahead and just reinstall. And this time around, Arconet Advanced, select your desktop. But what can go wrong as well is, like I said, suppose we have Xmonad behind it. Xmonad needs to be built. ChatWM needs to be built. Um, i3. Qtile, right? Python version. New Python version, there is some kind of code in there, you've added the code and suddenly it doesn't work anymore. You're thrown back to SDM. It, SDM is rarely the reason of things going wrong, right? It often catches you, saves you because of a failing system behind it or no system behind it, right? Um, so that's one thing. Secondly, drivers. Think about drivers, and yes, you know what I'm gonna say. 
NVDI, right? Um, most of those things need to be checked out. Are there drivers installed? Are the, is the config okay? And let's pause the video for a moment. Voila, so we're saying drivers can be an issue and it's a challenge. Oh my God, they can be a challenge. So my advice to you, next time you buy a PC, first check if the PC and the hardware, right? The Nvidia card is supported on Linux and it's easier to support. Then you don't need all this, all kind of special drivers and settings, but it just is supported by, let's say, Nvidia DKMS, right? At least one struggle less, one thing less to worry about. So let's pause the video for a moment and I'll show you, indeed, we forgot to select the desktop. What do we get and how can we overcome maybe or some ideas of what to do next? If you can't log in, well, you, we can log in. That's no, not going to be an issue because at some point here, the user is being created with my password and that's all fine. <laughs> but afterwards, there's nothing to catch us. There's no desktop present. So as M says, oops, and it just stays there. And sometimes when there is something and an error, you just get a black thing and whoop, you're back to the SDM login screen. And then you think SDM is not working. SDM is working, right? So think further down the road, what's happening in the desktop? And then there are two things. Control Alt F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6 and 7 I think still as well, is go to the TTY. And in virtual box we can do that too. Control F4. There we are. Control F5. Control F6. F7. No, no F7. So we end at 6. You see? All possibilities. This is Control F1. Control F2. Control F3. Control F4. On real metal. Control Alt. Control Alt. Control Alt. We're almost there. But let's pause the video to show you that we end up in a system and we say, Eric, this is rubbish, right? I can't log in. How is it possible? You forgot to select the desktop, my dear friend. Ah, all right, let's wait. There we are, it's ended. I was just about to show you where in the code it says sudo pack minus R, XFCE4 and XFCE4 goodies. So that's gone. You can see it in the code. We forgot to select the desktop. What do you get if you forget to install the most essential thing? A desktop. You get a beautiful graphical well, login screen or display manager as it's called. And you say, Eric and the password, login. And this is what happens. So you know, okay, that's strange. This is what happens. Not even I go in there. Why am I not going in there? Again, if we, hopefully we can get there. Yep, there we are. So Eric is correct as login. Password is correct. All right, so I'm in. But XD, oops. User share X sessions is where we keep the desktops for X11, XW. DW is where we keep the desktops for Wayland. So nothing for X11, nothing for Wayland. Obviously we can't log in. There is nothing behind it. So as the DM says, you can click and type all you want, but if there's no desktop behind it, voila. Now there are two things, of course, ArchWiki, and then you say, I would like to have Mate or Gnome or Plasma or XFCE, and you start typing. Pseudo Pacman minus S XFC4 and XFC4 goodies, for example. Right. You'll get a long list of packages, group packages, and off we go, and everything is installed. Right. So this is a possibility. When I press enter, it's all gonna be installed. Control C. Why not? Take some time, I know. And start learning to script. There is something called Arclix Nemesis 
on that GitHub, I can install anything I'd like. And one of the questions it will ask me, do you want chat WM? And if you're fond of a certain desktop, you can make a file like your own, like, like an example of chat WM, right? And you say, okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start off with this, not select anything. So basically you have a lot of applications already. There are lots of, of tools, applications. So ls user share applications. Those are installed. What do we have? Blueberry we have, Btop we have, Conkey is here. We have Discord, Fake, Cups to Print, Firefox is here. And all you don't want, you use sudo pacma minus r and done. Hard info is here, minstick stuff, all GNOME stuff here, Qt5 stuff, etc. Right? You just take a look. This, these are the apps. That's our connect. But we forgot the desktop. Damn, right? So make your own, and then you can do this, git clone, https, github.com, slash, and then your name, and then whatever you want to call it. I've called it Atlas Nemesis. CD, Arco Nemesis. LS, all the green stuff can be started, can be launched. Those are scripts, executable things. And I always change a little bit, right? So for me, the zero is what I've decided today. Today, those are my current choices. And I change the current choices each time a little bit, right? And it asks immediately, do you want to install ChatWN in your system? You can put anything here. Do you want Mate? Do you want Plasma? And if you say yes, fine. Off it goes, right? So that's another idea in getting, in staying in control, because that's the thing, right? Arclex teaches you an operating system based on Arch. You can use Calamaris, but also ALCI. You can use uh, Carly. You can use a riser. I mean, there are so many options to get a free system based on Arch with lots of packages on the repo, plus the 4,000 packages on Keltix repo. I mean, there's probably plenty of, of stuff to, to get you going and then for your hobbies or your passion or your interest, right? Lots of information, lots of, uh, well, information on ArchWiki. Not only do we have tutorials, but there are also ArchWiki and other uh, so resources, of course, where you can learn more about Linux, more specifically Arch Linux, even more specifically Arch Linux. So that's another way of doing things. But the main thing of the video is, is of course, that people, guys, Arconet, advanced if you don't select the desktop you don't get the desktop eh. and you can't log in and see nice beautiful sdm and you wonder what right the idea is a clean slate xfc4 xfc4 goodies bye bye and then anything goes multi plasma uh, any of the guys right 30 ish desktops that we have uh, to be installed to be chosen by you and if you forget or you say later on i would like to have another desktop att the arch linux tweet tool click install done and the desktop treasure select remove gone so it's all about this flexibility i would like to provide but yes arconet is new so we have to think how does it work how does it fit how can it suit me as a user and this could be another way of installing Arconet. do not select the desktop get all those apps in remove two three four five right and get all the rest of the apps in and the desktops you like and you have also an interesting system the point is we want you to stay in control whatever you choose and there is garuda whatever you choose right learn to control what your system does and figure out errors and how to fix things 
it's more important to learn from the workflow videos than say click this button to solve problem x right what have you learned from that nothing we'd like you to teach you give you some tools and think about it and some common sense et voilà as you know i can keep talking but we are at the end <laughs> reboot And now we do have something behind you, right? There is chat WM there. Yay. Are we greeted with chat WM? Uh, with SDM? Let's see. Depends. How to log in or not. We we'll probably need to check that out because of the changes that we've done, right? So, yes, I have a desktop. Oh, yeah, sure. I quickly can make this a little bit bigger if you don't like that. And there he is. Screen resolution, blah, 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 blah. This is my normal resolution. Click and done and done and done. And then voila. So what was I going to say? I don't know. I wanted to show you something. XD and XDW, right? Three times shown in the video that's the given right if nothing shows up you forgot to install the desktop oh what was i going to say i was going to mention something oh yeah and sddmk have a look there session xfce ah yeah because we did another way right it can't that's, that's the calamaris text so there was no time where calamaris knew what was you what was going on right we did not select the desktop ah we forgot to select the desktop right so that's not correct either so if you don't want to auto login that's simple you just say okay whatever don't want that but if you do then make sure always that of course the desktop the name is correct and all that but the desktop is correct um something maybe to tell you it's about plasma this is plasma wayland and this is Plasma X11, right? So if you say no, never in Wayland because it's always S-U-C-K-S, right? So then you say, I'm gonna go for Plasma X11 by default and then zero issues. All right, that's it for me. Of course, I'm gonna go to what it's supposed to be like this, Control X, yes, all right. Enjoy. <laughs>